last man standing is what I was dubbed by the world's media after that race. Exactly how did that happen? I trained for 12 years, competed for Australia in four Winter Olympic Games. The main reason that I was there in Salt Lake City was to put some demons to rest. In Canada, 1994, I was impaled on the back of a rival skate. Got my leg cut open, almost lost my life. 18 months before winning that gold medal, I had a crash in training, went headfirst into the barrier and broke my neck. I'd skated at three Winter Olympics and I hadn't done my best at any of them. And I just wanted to skate my best. In Salt Lake City, I did that in the quarterfinals. I beat a four-time world champion, made it through to the semis. I was pretty realistic about it and decided I don't think I'm as good as these other guys. And my best chance to get through to the final was to get on the ice in the semi and stay out the way. I figured there's no reason I should change my tactics for the final. Bring this on! Heading into the last turn, I see the Chinese guy fall. Set up my final turn out of the corner of my eye, I see the other three tumble. And from that moment, I knew that I didn't have to skate anymore. All I had to do was glide across the finish line. I wasn't sure if I should put my arms up in the air in celebration or go and hide in the corner. Had no idea what the appropriate response was at that moment. I suppose in some people's mind, the question will always remain, did I win Olympic gold by accident? Half a dozen blokes had just fallen over and they wanted me to go up there and take a gold medal for it. I wasn't sure if I deserved to. I only had a few minutes to think about it, but during that few minutes, I decided, yeah, I'm going out there on the podium and I'm taking that gold medal, but I'm not taking it for the 90 seconds of that race. I'm gonna take it for the 12 years in the lead up to that 90 seconds.